Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sandy Bottom Bees. We are actually at Cypress Branch Apiary. Uh, we've got five hives out here that we're working and I just went through them, or I'm almost done. They're gonna do a little bit of borrowing in the process too. Uh, it's just based on the size boxes that we're using. And so far in my short career as a beekeeper, what I like about using for boxes. So this is the hive in question. It's been in just a medium for a while and um, it had, we lost the queen, we got the queen back, and so it's been rebuilding. I came over here and I looked in it and it was just full. And so what we've got going on here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and, and a half, five and a half frames of brood or eggs at some stage. And so three of them are just straight brood. And then we've got one, two, three, three frames of honey or nectar, and you can see in there that it's being capped. So it needs more room. So down here in North Carolina, it seems mostly that people use like a medium and a deep for their brood chambers. Um, I actually have a couple, I have some that are double deeps and some that are um, mediums and deeps. I like to have double deeps, um, especially I'm glad I did when I was getting started because I kind of had an issue about building comb. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a frame out of here and we're gonna take a frame out of this other one and we're just gonna swap them. And that's gonna do a couple things. But first I gotta make sure that I don't move the queen. That would be terrible. And I don't wanna just take any any frame, I want a frame with eggs on it or at least brood of some sort. So I'm gonna take a kind of an ugly frame. They've been building kind of wonky. I pre-waxed these frames and then they just took all the wax off and did whatever they wanted. So we're gonna make sure that we don't put the queen in. This one's actually pretty good because it's not totally built anyways. But I'll show you what's on this frame. So see there's a little bit of brood. There's some larva in here. And then there's some eggs on the outside. Now they're still building this frame which is just fine, doesn't matter. And on the other side, same thing. Brood. Um, larva. And then there's some eggs. So you've got a period of time where this will be on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap this box. Let me shut up the other one first. So like I was saying, having boxes that are the same size are actually really nice because you can do stuff like this. Like the problem for this hive, which is why we haven't borrowed any frames from anything, is because we didn't have anything out here with a medium on it so it kind of it was an issue because we couldn't take a frame and put in so we kind of had to let the bees just do whatever they wanted which is fine but sometimes you can help them out a little bit you know this with a lot of them where i'll come back and i will checkerboard the frames but right now what we'll do is we'll take that frame of brood and we're going to put it in the middle and then when we put that medium on top, the bees will come down because they want to take care of those eggs and brood. And so it'll cause them to start building. And that's why, because this one's so empty, I didn't want to take a big, huge frame. Plus it's warm now, so it's not a huge, huge deal. So, you know, our nights are in the 70s now. It's supposed to be like 90 this week, so they won't have too much of a hard time keeping it warm. And then, for instance, this frame that I pulled out is just empty, so what I'll do is I'll move a honey frame over and then I'll just put it over here. And so it'll be more available to them. And that's it. I didn't feel 
any which way, one way or the other, like I didn't feel bad taking a frame out of here because this is a pretty strong hive. It's up and coming. There's a lot of brood in it and they're deep frames. This hive here, all of those brood frames are going to be hatching soon, which means the population is going to grow rapidly. And so they're going to be able to build comb and start that process. The queen's in there still laying, so she's pretty good to go. Now, when we come over here to this hive right here, it's just a deep. So we can do a couple things. I'm gonna go in and check and see if I need to add a super to it. Um, I'm, I don't know how it's gonna be, but if I do need to add a super, what I'll do is I'll come over to this hive, cause this hive's really strong, especially in the super. We reversed this last week and I'll take a frame out of here and then add it to that super over there. So that will really help. Now, when you start adding, like if I was gonna put another deep on there, which I don't have another deep, but if I did, I would just move one of the frames up from the bottom up into that deep, and then that would bring those bees up. And it's just their instinct to try and take care of the, the eggs and whatnot. So it works out pretty good. Um, we didn't add, a super down here that's not quite ready. We're having a pretty good honey flow this year. Things are happening pretty fast, but these are all really young colonies. So don't really expect to get any honey for us from the spring flow. Maybe, maybe, maybe the double deep here or this one. That's, I mean, that's a slight possibility. I doubt it though, but we're keeping an eye on this one. I bet within the next week, I'd like to put a super on it if, I mean, if the calendar works out like that and that way we can get them to build comb in that for the next year and start to put some honey away for themselves um you got the first year i don't really want to take a lot of honey uh, maybe in the fall if we have a flow but we got to get through hurricane season and everything else so we'll see how that goes but um let's crack the top on this hive and see what's going on in there hello i'm home let's see what they got cooking One, two, three, it's filled with bees. Eight frames of bees, eight frames. And so this may actually be a candidate for adding a super today. That's all nectar there. And so I don't want them to get honey bound. Ooh, it smells good too. Really don't want them to get honey bound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scooch through real quick and just look and see where I see brood and then I'll start there. And if I start coming across a lot of brood, then I'll go back a frame and see if there's eggs around. So like this frame's new, like this year new. And there's the brood. And see, they're still, they still have to build. So I don't want to add anything too early to it. Yeah, they're still building these frames. So I think we'll give it another week too. I don't want to get too anxious and start throwing supers on them when they don't need them because that can cause a headache as well. But we can, see there's eggs all up in here. So this frame is full of brood and here i'll show you so there's going to be a lot of bees that come out of this frame soon and the other side's the same way that's crazy isn't it all bees 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 but like this frame here they're building weird and so I've been keeping an eye on this. I'll show you. So this side looks okay. They're building it pretty normal. But look at this. So what I've been doing when I see these, as I make sure I don't see the queen, and then I'll just kind of mash it down a little bit and that seems to help they'll come back and fix it kind of drag it out 
But yeah, see, these have so much to build. I don't really want to put a super on just yet. But this hive is on its way. And I'll show you <clears throat> the checkerboarding we did. So you can see the checkerboarding. These are all new frames. So this had brood and then we put two frames in and then the rest had eggs or brood in it. And then we just kind of built that out and then they're starting to build them out. Just encourage them. That's all we can do. It's not like goats. I can't hurt them and make them do something. But um, yeah, so maybe next week we'll be adding a super. If I had to imagine next week, we probably will because those eggs will be seven days farther ahead and then we'll see more and more brood. But then you also have to remember the queen's backfilling too. So as they hatch, she still has room because they're coming to backfill. And so as she ramps up and as it ramps up and the flow picks up, which it, if we get a little bit of rain, it should continue for a while from what I understand, then um, we'll just be adding a box. I've got two more supers here. We got to get some more. Um, I don't want them. We want to make sure that they're able to make enough honey to get through winter. That's the name of the game this year. And if there's any extra for us, great. But for this year, it's good. I can tell you I did it at my house. I'll show you the hive on the next video more than likely. And um, the hive that made it through the winter has like four honey supers on it now. It's giant. It's taller than me at this point. So um, that's you know, like, it's a small sacrifice for a big reward. And I understand too, we're having a pretty good honey flow this year. I would imagine that El Nino had a lot to do with that, but we'll see. So um, yeah, S Cypress Branch Apiary is coming along well. So how's everything in your guys' bee yard? Let us know in the comments below. Good.